All right, guys, AS Farming here, and welcome to episode number one of West Newton Farm. <clears throat> so, I've been waiting a long time uh, for the update for this map to come out. There was an update that came out last Friday, and I'm uh, <coughs> towards the end of uh, this week now, recording this on the Thursday. So, obviously, this will go out th tonight. Um... And uh, yeah, been waiting for the update out until I uh, could start playing this map and uh, start recording a um, a series because obviously I didn't want to start a new save game um, and whatnot. So uh, so yeah, here we are. So this is going to run side uh, alongside rather uh, Bessie beneath. Bessie beneath will probably be on a Tuesday, and this is going to be on a Thursday. Is how I'm probably going to run it. Um, but uh, yeah, this, for this episode today, before we got into any farming, I uh, just wanted to quickly run over what uh, what we're gonna, what I'm planning on doing on the map, um, and what starting equipment we started off with, and, and everything like that. Um, as we start, we've got a hundred and twenty-five thousand pound loan already, uh, straight off the bat. So uh, that is that. Um, we're gonna run through equipment. And then we're going to run through the plan for the map. So, um, I've got a Vulture. I've got a... What Vulture is it? It is a... Uh, it's a T234. I think it's a mid-range uh, Vulture. There's 250 horsepower. It's a decent horsepower track to this. And what I like about this as well is you can put a front loader on it. Uh, which is good. I've got this uh trailer as well this is a modded trailer which will allow you to auto load uh pallets on which is going to be really really handy um we're starting off land wise if i uh go on the map we're starting off with all the starting land so we've got this farm here with the cows and the chickens and then we've got uh five fields all together um Two, four, five, yeah, five fields, three, uh, four of them, sorry, we've got six fields. Um, five of them are grass fields, and then we've got the one arable field uh, just at the bottom there. So um, next episode, we're, we're going to get plowing and whatnot, because everything obviously needs the uh, the usual plowing and liming and all that sort of stuff. So that's probably what we'll get on with in the in the next episode. So in this shed... I have uh, stocked up plenty of lime, uh, ready for us to start cracking on. Um, but uh, yeah, so we've got this uh, bale trailer, round bale trailer. We're going to be doing round bales on uh, on this map. Uh, we've got our livestock trailer. Uh, this recently came out on the mod uh, about two two weeks ago, maybe. Uh, so I thought that quite fit with this uh, this map. Uh, it's like a knife for Williams style trailer, but obviously it's branded lizard for obvious reasons uh we've got an auto lock bale fork which is what we've got on bessie beneath pallet forks um we've got a modded um coon spreader so this will spread fertilizer and lime um and i've obviously got all my uh, fertilizer stacked up here um we've got the this is a what cultivator is this it's a six meter cultivator this is the Amazon six meter cultivator um, because obviously our seed drill, which you've got this coon one, this is a four meter seeder. This obviously doesn't direct drill. So after we've har after we've harvested and whatnot, plowed each time, we're gonna have to cultivate with this. Um, got the standard um, in game New Holland baler. I went with the New Holland baler this one particularly because the um dealership on this map is new holland so that's why i went with that um and obviously yeah i've talked about this uh seed and all my seeds there uh and this is my uh this is my vulture so we've got it uh, hooked up to the ripper plow here uh ready to go this is i believe a 4.4 meter plow i think it is it's, it's 3.6 i went with the um 4.4 to begin with but it was a bit heavy for this tractor so i ended up with going with the uh, 3.6 but uh, that's going to be our plow like a ripper plow um so uh so yeah that is equipment at this yard 
and then if we hop over to our other storage yard up here we've got our combine this is obviously a modded combine uh, this is the tc590 um i think the header is a six meter header if i can remember it is a yeah a 5.5 meter header so that's uh, that's what header we've got um i was originally going to start off with the uh, the starting combine on this map but I, for some reason at the moment i can't get the um the in-game uh new holland combine <clears throat> the real small one to fill up with fuel if i go to here i can't seem to get this to fill up with fuel at the moment i'm not sure if there's a bit of a bug at the moment with a recent update or something but i couldn't get this to refill so i swapped this out i swapped it out and i brought uh, this combine so that's uh that's what combine we're going to want. Probably going to stick with this one now. It's obviously a modern combine. Um, and uh, I think with the tight rows and whatnot. And the fields aren't huge, huge. I think that's probably what we'll stick with. We might go a bit bigger. Um, I've got another modded combine, I think. In another mod folder. Um, which I could uh, possibly use um, on this map. But yeah, that's probably the combine we're going to be with for a fair amount of time um but uh, just close this and uh, yeah this is our grain trailer i don't think this is a particular branded trailer but yeah this is our grain trailer as well which uh which we've got on the map at the moment so again probably going to stick with this trailer it's about the right size trailer for this sort sort of size map size fields so uh so yeah that is the equipment we're going to be starting with so the plan for the map so obviously we're uh, starting off with uh, this farm here uh, which has obviously got uh, chickens and cows i think probably what i'm gonna do is um i'm not i don't think i'm gonna do horses i might possibly at some point if we're perhaps struggling for work or or whatnot just to give us a bit of you know extra things to do but uh, as it stands the horses and the pigs i'm not going to do this series is probably going to be predominantly uh cattle and sheep probably going to do beef cattle not uh dairy or anything it's uh, going to be beef cattle and sheep is probably what i'm going to do um probably going to start off with the beef cattle to begin with because uh, obviously we own uh this uh cow uh, shed here and then as we uh, progress <coughs> we'll uh, buy a few more fields we've obviously got this cow field up here as well so as it stands at the moment uh we'll have a quick look um try and find where i put the cows in uh it is here so I can fit 500 cows. Obviously, it's not very realistic, but I can fit 500 cows in uh, in that shed, and I'm guessing I can fit 500 in here as uh, as well. Uh, I'm sure I own this field. Ah, there we go. So I can fit 150 in uh, in this field as well. So that means we can start off with a good 650 cows if he wanted to on uh, on this map and then obviously as we expand there's a cow field just up here as well um and then obviously we've got the sheep pasture down here and we've got two sheep pastures up here um so i'm hoping it's going to be quite a big beef cattle and sheep um sheep uh, production map is what i'm going to do so obviously there's a lot of grass fields on this map with obviously the uh it's sort of half and half split which is what i quite like on this map you got half arable half grass but it's definitely going to be more orientated around the livestock rather than the arable um i'm not sure if i do much logging either uh, i might do again if we're struggling for things to do and whatnot we might uh rent a chainsaw and whatnot and uh, have a go a bit of logging but uh yeah this this um is obviously this map is based in scotland so obviously um uh, scottish farms mainly focus on 
uh, beef, cattle and sheep production uh, rather than perhaps dairy or pigs um, or arable. Um, so that's what I'm hoping to achieve on uh, on this map. But uh, yeah, that's going to be uh, going to be the plan of action. We'll probably buy chickens to begin with. Um, see how we get on with uh, with money wise, whether we get some uh, some cattle or not. There's obviously quite a few contracts at the moment for uh, cultivating, which I uh, I might do off screen a bit. Um, I'm not sure as well. I need to have a quick look. When would be the best time to if we bought any beef cattle? So we're going to go with limousine or Solaire. It's probably getting sort of uh, start of summer, midsummer sort of time is probably going to be that best time to buy some beef cattle. So we're a bit we're a bit um, of a while off yet. Um, chicken wise, um, we could buy some chickens now. It probably will be better to wait until autumn or even winter is is going to be the lowest I think um but I mean we could we could possibly buy some uh, some chickens uh just to keep us going a bit <clears throat> but um that is hopefully going to be uh, the plan of action so I might as well um integrate uh this series perhaps occasionally with um with Bessie Beneath, perhaps in some ways, we'll uh, we'll have to see. But it's obviously it's definitely going to be uh, running alongside um, the Bessie Beneath series. Um, I would have started this series sooner. It's just obviously because of waiting for the uh, the update to come out. Um, I haven't been able to uh, start the series. I didn't really see much point in in starting it, and then we get halfway through um, and. Uh, What's to call it? Um, and having to start a new save game again because the updates come out it just would have been a waste of time, really. So uh, that's why I've done that. But um, as Bessie Beneath, I am really looking forward to playing this map. It's ever such a, ever such a nice um, looking map. Some really really nice views, even just on this on this top hill on this farm. You look out over the, over the views, and it's ever such ever such a nice. A gorgeous looking map obviously again like i said it's uh, it's based in scotland uh, but it is a really really nice looking map um but um yeah i hope you are all looking um forward to this series as much as i am like i said we're going to be uh playing with this um this outfit in uh in the next episode but um nevertheless i hope you have enjoyed this episode and uh, and you stick around for the series um and yeah if you have as always please remember to hit that like button and if you're new to the channel please remember to hit that subscribe button obviously <clears throat> if you hit that subscribe button you'll uh, you'll see when i post a video and whatnot and uh, keep up to date with the uh the series uh very nicely but um yeah hope you have enjoyed watching and i will catch you in the next episode bye guys